No, you didn't burn your toast. That's the smell of Newt London still smoking in the background. We are at Flimbley Stadium, of course, home of the Newt London Patriots. This town has a lot of history. You got some of the founding fathers of pro wrestling here. Yeah, Slam Adams for one. Man, he had a wicked neck crunching pile driver move. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Newt London Patriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How are you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. in your nostril hairs once and for all. And it's first and ten. Interception! And that's how you stop an offense! He just got crushed! Oh, everything! The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time! I heard that Time Warp 30 Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology! Yeah, your entire life is... And the defense just called the ginormous Dirty Trick! His big ass will probably show up on the radar. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down and six. A pickup of about three on that play. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And he runs it in for the touchdown. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Much like our wedding night, there was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filled in the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. At this 
point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercepted though. Oh, nice hit. Football is a team sport, and that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was nasty. First and four. Well, Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and five. Oh, and the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game he finds open space. Wow! It's like a blood mobile crashing into a slaughterhouse. And he put the Jets on and caught him from Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, three. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. Plays on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Third down and long. Hot one, hot two. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put return. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. With a brutal hit. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And 
And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Not one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second down and more than the QB would like. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He could go all the way. He's running out of gas now. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> it's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. run for five yards second down and five. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. A nice run there for eight. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Third 
third and two. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly fast. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And wow! The quarterback just threw it. He's off to the races. He's at the ten. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft up right on this asshole. point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah! That Boom! And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah! Most likely in a convalescent home! Second down in a very lot. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kick and job in half? They just be. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know what I'm at. You ever get hit in the head with? 
with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have. I oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Reception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, now the ground crew's gonna come out and pick him up. It, it really kills the momentum. There should be a penalty for that. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <sighs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and five. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that. QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And I've had it. 
I'm running out of excuse. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Well, if you don't like kickers, you'll like their backups even less. Here we go. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Football. He, and that is caught for a first down. <laughs> At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not clenching and cheeks though. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the MFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. See that little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. <laughs> the burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on a bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten.
freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. Second down in a lot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man. That. That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The New London Patriots obliterate their opponent today and win the game by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you I... shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.